Hello, and welcome to the Retail Deck video tutorial series. This video demonstrates how to add new users to your store's Retail Deck account. We recommend creating a unique user account for every individual that will use Retail Deck in your store. This allows store owners and administrators to control what each individual user can see and do in the program, and it provides an extra layer of security and convenience, allowing you to disable a single user on your account without disrupting all other users. And there's no downside. You can add endless users for no additional cost. So let's get to it. There are two ways users can be added. Method number one. Owners and administrators can create accounts for other owners, administrators, or ordinary users. Or, method number two, a new user can create their own account and seek permission from an owner or administrator to approve their access. Let's review the steps for method number one. This is the fastest and easiest way to add new users. Once you're logged into Retail Deck as a store owner or administrator, go to the admin menu and select View User Accounts. Now, click the Create New User button and complete the form that's presented. You're going to enter in a full name for your employee, an email address, a title within the store, and for this example we'll use Assistant Manager, a work phone number, a cell phone number, and then create them a temporary password. You'll also notice at the bottom of the screen you're going to select a buying group account. Most of you will only see one buying group affiliated with a new user that should already be selected for you. If not, go ahead and select the correct buying group. You're also going to assign a role to this user at this point. Now this step deserves a little explanation. The role that is assigned to each user is important and here's why. Store managers and administrators can always see and use all of the features that are available in Retail Deck. While an ordinary user can only see and do what the store owners and administrators have granted them permission to. So if you would like to restrict the ability to view certain information, like cost columns, or complete certain actions, like make price tags, select the ordinary user role. If instead you want the user to always be able to see and do everything in Retail Deck, assign them a role of owner or administrator, whichever title seems more appropriate. If you choose to have new users create their own accounts, here's what you should know about method number two. Direct your new user to the login screen at app.retaildeck.com. Look under the login area where it says need an account, click here. Once you've clicked the link, you'll be presented with a form. Complete each field. Then click create new account. The last step requires authentication to prove the new user should have access to the store's Retail Deck information. Now, if you are setting up your own account, this can be done two ways. You will either have to provide an authoritative username and password, the required password information will vary dependent upon your buying group affiliation, or if you do not know the authoritative username and password, you will have to request approval from an existing Retail Deck owner or administrator. To initiate this request, you'll be asked to enter their email address. Make sure to enter the same email address that owner or administrator uses as their Retail Deck username. The owner or administrator will then receive notification in their Retail Deck account that a new user is seeking approval and they will have the ability to grant or deny access. Because the second method of account creation requires the additional authentication step, we recommend option number one as the quickest and easiest method to create a new user. Thank you for watching our Retail Deck tutorial video. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any additional questions or require further assistance, please contact us at 800-417-2799 or email to help at retaildeck.com.